Hello everyone. I am honored to present our recent work published in IMETA. The rheumatoid arthritis gut microbial biobank reveals core microbial species that associate and affect on host inflammation and autoimmune responses. Dysbiosis of the gut microbiota has been recognized as a potential underlying cause of rheumatoid arthritis. However, many studies are limited by the lack of culturable strains. To achieve this goal, we isolated 3,200 strains from fecal samples of 20 RA patients using 11 traditional and 7 modified methods or media. After classification and screening, we obtained 601 non-redundant bacterial strains, representing 280 species from 7 bacteria, including 43 novel species. These strains are stored in the RAGMB, with detailed information available on the RAGMB website. To further investigate the potential functions of the 43 novel species, we conducted analyses on their identification, genomics, metabolomic, and distribution within populations. Additionally, to explore the contributions of our AGMB in terms of strain resources, we compared the differences at the species level between our AGMB and health-related gut microbial biobank. Our AGMB provides 121 unique gut species including eight strains representing four species from the phylum Synergistota. In our study, we conducted metagenomic analysis on isolated samples to characterize the efficiency of culturing methods. We found that RAGMB significantly covered the medium to high abundance species in the gut of RA patients. Additionally, the use of modified methods improved the isolation rates of low abundance species. To understand the impact of prevalent and abundant microorganisms in the intestines of RA patients on the host, we proposed and defined the RA core microbiome, which consists of members with an average relative abundance of greater than or equal to 0.2% and a prevalence of greater than or equal to 80%. This core microbial body comprises 20 bacterial species. To investigate the correlation between core species and clinical indicators, we employed Spearman correlation analysis to explore potential relationships between these species and various clinical and prognostic metrics associated with rheumatoid arthritis. Notably, Mediterranean and Eubacterium rectale were found to have significant correlations with clinical diagnostic indicators such as erythrocyte sedimentation rate and IL-10 levels. Subsequently, we conducted experimental validation using these two core species in both normal C57BL-6 mice and a DSS-treated mouse model. The results indicated that both core species exacerbated the host's inflammatory response, evidenced by colon shortening, spleen enlargement, decreased plasma IM levels, and increased IL-17A levels. Correlation analyses of clinical indicators alongside experimental validation consistently demonstrated that Mediterranean tenuous exhibited strong pro-inflammatory effects and elevated IL-17A levels. In contrast, Eubacterium rectale showed a discrepancy between statistical and experimental outcomes. Statistical analyses indicated a negative correlation with RA, suggesting an anti-inflammatory role whereas experimental results revealed that Eubacterium rectale promoted inflammation, significantly reducing the cytokine IL-10 while increasing levels of IL-17, IL-2, and IL-12 P70. This highlights the necessity of validating results obtained through uncultured analyses with experiments involving cultivable strains. In summary, this study successfully isolated and cultured rheumatoid arthritis-originated gut microbial strains through large-scale cultivation and established a gut microbial biobank, RAGMB. We defined the core gut microbiome associated with RA and analyzed, as well as experimentally validated, the impact of these courses on host inflammation and immune responses. This work provides diverse gut microbial resources for future investigations into the etiology and progression of rheumatoid arthritis, as well as potential new targets for early detection, intervention, and treatment. That is all. Thank you.